Hello everybody, here's Ahmad Nasser again with a new tutorial about Oracle Database. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Oracle EX or XE Express into your Windows environment. Uh, first thing we need this uh, Oracle Database Express Edition. Um, we accept the license here and download it. And we need other uh, file which is the instance client downloads. Uh, this is facilitate uh, the connection with the Oracle database uh, when using Navigat. I'm using here a tool called Navigat Premium. It's uh, a tool that you easily connect with databases and it has a lot of connection with MySQL, Oracle, and SQLite. So it's a very awesome tool. Um, so the first thing after you download this two files uh, we got these two um, uh, mainly these two setup files uh, this is for the you know the setup launcher for our Oracle Express edition so you just double click on the setup and you just put the password and don't forget to remember your password because we gotta use that later on okay after you set up the file we can see here instant client this is this file is very important because it has a, a DLL file that is uh, required for our connection with Oracle database uh, it has a OCI DLL and this is very important in the connection operation with Oracle database so after you set up these two files extract this here uh, we gotta use them later on so now I'm gonna show you how can we can work with uh, Navigate in order to connect with Oracle database. Uh, the first thing you need to do is going to tools and we have something called OCI. So you go to the OCI here and extract the instant client uh, compressed file into a location I extracted into C Oracle EXE. We go there and we just browse and we select the OCI DLL and after they just click OK so after this you can come up here and create a new Oracle connection so for example I created this one XE uh, if you wanna see the connection uh, how we you know did create this connection uh, basically um, uh, we uh, create a new connection Oracle connection just type connection name uh, connection type basic localhost and the port number 1521 ser uh, service name XE uh, we type the username that we have its uh, system by default its system and there's a lot of user uh, other users uh, in the system and we just type here test connection in order to test the connection so connection successfully um, we have other uh, connection which is uh, sysdba and this connection is different because we use the sys user so if you go to this uh, sysdba just see the properties and here we can see uh, we got a connection name uh, the, the same thing but additional things here uh, in order to general we go to advanced and uh, we have something called sysdba we chose the connection instead of default we chose sysdba this is the connection connection successful we got two connections you can go to the one of the connections and here we can see all the system tables okay in addition for that you can also open another connection uh, for example this one uh, this is the other table uh, we have a, lo a lot of tables here actually okay, you can see him, them all here anyway guys this is the you know the just the demonstration how you can make a connection but after you uninstall the um, the you know Oracle XE into your computer uh, you can go Oracle to the start all programs you can see Oracle database uh, here and we can first we get started so when you click go get started 
you can see this page uh, let me just move this around okay uh, as you can see here we can see all the stuff here um, okay but when you need to go to somewhere else in this uh, navigation bar we, we need to log in so I just gonna use system and with the password provided in the installation okay I just logged in so it say hello system I can see here uh, storage uh, all the table spaces here sessions parameters application express okay we are gonna know all these later on but this is just a demonstration uh, into how this is gonna work but maybe you find a problem in, in, in working with uh, after an installation you need make sure to go to uh, C uh, app Oracle product uh, your version and server you can see he get started double click in there properties uh, come here and just type the port number 8080 so this is just uh, maybe you have you will face a problem but this is gonna fa fix it for you okay uh, so guys this is pretty much for this tutorial and I hope you uh, learn something new in the next tutorial we maybe inshallah we gotta cover a new concept and new um, you know implementations and uh, more stuff on Oracle databases so thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe put comments like and see you in other tutorials thank you